All right, so for this class, this doll can be done uh, hand-sewn or machine-sewn. And to do the hand-sewn method, I'm gonna refer you to the video above so that you can um, check out the stitch to use for um, all the parts. Um, but alternatively, you can do it on a sewing machine. And for this particular character, I'm gonna go ahead and do my pieces on the sewing machine, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps of what I'm gonna be doing. So for my two brown pieces, this is gonna be our kind of a head cap. So our hair cap where our hair is gonna go on. And you can see that um, I cut out one of the pieces mostly and left a little bit of a seam allowance. And then the other piece I did not cut out. So I just lined up the bottom edge on both sides and pinned it down. And then I'm going to do a back stitch and sew around this edge and I'll do a back stitch over here so that this is fully um, locked on into place and secure. And then um, I'll show you that once it's done. But this is going to be, this is not going to be seen. This will be our um, cap that covers the flesh part of the head um, so that with the hair, you won't see any um, skin when you see like any spaces through the hair. So that's what this is. And then, um, like I said, I went ahead and traced all my pieces out. So for this particular head, we're going to go ahead and sew all the way around. And then what we'll end up doing is we'll cut a slit in the back and that's how we'll turn this piece around. So I'm just going to sew all the way around on the line, no, leaving no seam allowance. Um, and then once I'm done, I'll cut my pieces out. Same thing for this. I'm going to cut all the way around. I mean, I'm going to sew all the way around. Now, let me just tell you, you can skip this space right here if you'd like to be able to use this side to turn, or you can utilize either of these spaces. So I'm going to leave these both open so that um, you can stuff them later. That's my goal. Um, but I will show you what it looks like with these three openings. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna sew around on the arms and you can see I've left a space on both arms so that I can turn these right side out when I'm done. And then um, over here, this is the pieces for our outfit. So the dress, I'm just going to sew down this one side and sew down this one side. Make sure you do your back stitch on both sides. Um, this is the brim of the hat. So you only need one piece of this, not the two pieces. So this piece is not going to get sewn. That's why that's the only piece I didn't put a pin in, you can see. So I'll just be cutting the, for, the top layer of this and leaving that bottom piece. Um, and don't throw this away because we'll be using the scrap to um, make our little bow later for our little dress. Um, this is the top of the hat though, and I am gonna sew two, these two together. Um, leave this space open, so just sew around here. Uh, and then on the sleeves, I'm just gonna sew around the curve. And again, back stitch both sides. So you just wanna start and kinda go back a little bit. We hit the little reverse and then go all the way around and leave these open. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'll be right back. And remember, if you prefer instead to hand sew these, refer to the video above where I show you the stitch to use for hand sewing these characters. All right, so to start, I'm just gonna lay my material on here and then I'm gonna come right up to the edge and I'm lining my line up with the space in between and I'm gonna drop my uh, thread down onto there so that it's secure and then I'm gonna go forward a couple of stitches and then I'll go back and then come forward again. So I'm gonna go forward and then I'm gonna go back I'm using my little reverse, so I'm going to go back a couple stitches, and now I'm just going to go along the line, and I'm not in any hurry, and I'm just going to ride around that line all the way till I get back to the beginning. <laughs> All right, I now have everything sewn, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it all out real quick. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut out my pieces, and I'll fast forward this part so you can see me. Um, but, uh, you don't have to watch it in slow motion.
All right, now I'm gonna take my sock and I'm just going to lay the body on here and get an idea. So I'm just gonna trace and make sure that I leave myself enough room for the legs to slip in there. You could even just draw a straight line if you wanted and sew around that. You just wanna make sure that you leave a space in between. Now I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew on the blue line. I'll be right back. All right, so I um, sewed up the line and then I just cut out the little middle. Um, I didn't do any like crazy snips because this material is very stretchy. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it right side out. And I'm gonna set these aside for later on. We'll come back to them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stuff all of my body pieces and I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna take this material. I'm just gonna take some polyfill and I wanna stuff it, but I don't wanna overstuff it. Um, so I'll show you kind of what that's gonna look like once I get it stuffed, but give me just a second while I stuff all the pieces and you can kind of get an idea of how much I end up filling them. I'll be right back. Okay, now I have my body parts all stuffed and you can see I, I didn't stuff this to the point of being uh, a really round shape. I still wanted to keep the flatness um, of the character because it is a felt doll. Um, and they are on the flat side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little tiny bit more if the little piece needs to be, a little bit more needs to be added um, just to finish this off. All right, now, so I, and you can see I've got these flaps still, so I'll end up tucking those in and sewing this, this little top piece closed. Actually, I may just add a little tiny bit of hot glue because the hair cap is going to cover that. Um, but I will be sewing, hand sewing these pieces closed. Um, I'd like to talk about the body real quick. I have stuffed this body very tight. This is very, very stiff so that it won't be um, easy to lose its stability uh, later on. Um, so I stuffed it really tight and optionally you can cut a little circle and add it in here to the bottom, which I'll show you. This is completely optional. It just adds a little bit more stability, but it is not necessary. So I'll stuff that in there, add a little dot of hot glue and sew around and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so I have my needle and thread ready and I'm gonna go ahead and take my little discs and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of hot glue right here. And I'm gonna add my little disc in here. And like I said, I just cut down a shape, a circular shape and to fit inside of here. Um, I'm gonna push it in there just a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. And this one, it looks like I need just a little bit more um, polyfill, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that real quick. And I always just do a little at a time. Stuff this one in there as well, press down. And I want these to be pretty even. So that's what I'm checking right now. And this one needs to go down just a little bit more. Okay. So be mindful of that whenever you're getting ready to sew them up. And I'm just gonna go in right here and tie off. And then I'm gonna do a little zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna come up one. So you can see I kind of moved it up a little further because I do want a little bit of space away. And now I'm just gonna go in and out, in and out. And I'm gonna try and be even all the way around. Okay. 
come over here and then I'm going to grab, let's see if I can get this other leg out of the way. So I'm going to go in and then I'm going to come out the other side and then just keep working my way around. And I don't want this pulled tight just yet. Go back around. Now I'm going to pull it. And then while I'm pulling, I'm just going to tuck these edges in. So I'm going to kind of fold them over a little bit. Let me pull this back just a little. You want to kind of do it as you're pulling it makes it so much easier and it gets it to really tuck in better and then i'm just going to hold it and i'm actually going to go around a, a little bit more So now I'm going to tie my knot. So I'm just going to pull it most of the way through and slip my loop in. I'm going to do it twice. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other foot and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm going to move on to the top of the head and the um, arms and the top of the body, sorry, the top of the body and the arms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that real quick. And for this, I'm just gonna kind of tuck it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. So I'm going to go like this. Right over the top. Trying to get pretty close to the top. So very similar to what we're do what we did with our um, stitch around the body. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm just doing that same kind of stitch right over the top. This is the same stitch as if we were hand sewing, just to be clear. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the arms and the top of the head. 
So to do the arm, I'm just going to tuck this in. And pinch, and then I'll start from the inside, and I'm going to go backwards just a little bit. So I'm going to start a little bit behind where the stitch, where the stitch is, ends, or a little bit before where the stitch is, stitch ends. Sorry. And again, same type of stitch as we just did with the top of the body. That blanket stitch. And this will not get seen. This will be up inside the sleeve, so it doesn't have to be beautiful. And I'll make sure that I go to the very end where the other stitch is. And you can even go one past if you'd like, just to make sure that that stitch will hold. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, move on to the other arm. I'll do this one off camera, but let's go ahead and work on the head real quick. So again, just kind of tucking that in. I don't want to have it be collapsed though, so it definitely needs a little bit more polyfill. That might be too much. Let's start with this. Just filling in this space. Just a tiny bit more. might be the whole thing. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up just a little bit. So I'm just unfolding a little bit of that uh, material that I tucked in. <clears throat> now I'm gonna start again just past and then I'm going to go over and I'm trying to be mindful and make sure it doesn't kind of cave in too much I don't I mean it will do it a little bit but I just want to keep it to a minimum so I got to hold on to it Okay, and as I move, if I need to, I'll just kind of move that material up a little bit so that I don't pull it all out as I'm moving so it's not super caved in. And again, this is not a huge um, issue because you're going to be, this is going to be underneath the cap, but if you're doing something um, and this wasn't going to be hidden, you would not want to have it super caved in. So just to know if you are making like a, a bald character. And again, you're going to make sure you go all the way past the last stitch 
where your other where your sewing or your other hand stitching starts. All right, so now we have that done. Let's try on our little cap, a little hair cap. And you just wanna kind of pinch it and tuck it in, and then you'll just kind of scoot it down on there. Okay, perfect, perfect. Alrighty, and so you'll have this space open and we'll end up cutting a space right here to fit her um, onto her body. Um, but let me go ahead and sew this off camera and we will start putting the rest of our pieces together.